Well, we wanted to know why it was that um, MRSA, which is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, a more pathogenic uh, hospital bacteria in Australia, was being so well controlled with the new um, national hand hygiene all over the country, MRSA rates were falling. And that was great because patients were doing much better and the risk of getting serious infections was much reduced. But we started to notice also a gradual increase in VRE infections. And this seemed like a paradox because both, that both infections should be controlled by using um, standard hand hygiene. Um, but it seemed that one was much better controlled than the other. So the insight there was, well, maybe the VRE or Enterococcus specium, including VRE, has learned somehow to become more tolerant to uh, the ethanol or the uh, alcohols that we use in these hand hygiene product products. Well, the alcohol hand hygiene programs have been highly successful, particularly controlling MRSA, but also other types of hospital infections. And I would strongly advocate that we continue. However, with certain pathogens, and it looks like perhaps VRE, we may have to consider not relying on what we call standard precautions, where we just we prevent cross infection in everybody by just using hand hygiene. But we may have to specifically add additional control measures for VRE outbreaks. I guess that the main thing is that you know one possibility that we propose in this in this research article is that it's the use of alcohol tolerance that's led to the this new VRE that's more tolerant. But it might also be that the bacterium is doing another trick. It's becoming better able to live in the low pH of our gut and that that adaptation coincidentally confers resistance to alcohol. So, you know, there might be a little bit, a nuanced um, evolution going on here where one behaviour of the bacteria in our gut means that it's better able to resist our hospital disinfectants, in particular alcohol. And so, you know, that extra advantage that it has by being able to grow in our gut means it's actually harder to kill when it gets on our hands um, and the two things are going together. So one limitation of our study is that we, we don't fully understand the adaptive forces that are leading to VRE. Alcohol is one thing but there might be others. Second um, probably limitation is that our study is focused on Australia. Now we've looked at a large number of bacteria but it is from Australian healthcare institutions. And so, you know, one thing we're working on now is, well, what's happening in other parts of the world where, you know, in many of the major hospitals around the world, VRE is going up, like in Australia. So we're very keen to see whether the same patterns of alcohol tolerance are in VRE populations in other hospitals worldwide. So there's sort of two things we're working on. One is understanding exactly how the bacteria are becoming more tolerant. We've uncovered the genetic signatures in this paper. But we want to know what's the impact of those. How do those changes in the DNA of the bacteria actually cause the tolerance? So that's one thing we're looking at. And the second is this, you know, what's going on in other parts of the world? And we're working with colleagues around the world at the moment to address that.